All right. We're trying to push top 1,000, and we're currently at 1248, if I remember correctly. So this is the next few games are going to be big. Um, I'm going first as a pink player. And people are offering alliances. That sounds good. I'm looking at the board, and uh, right off the bat, there's a lot of red in the middle. There's a lot of red, black in the bottom left, and white is very spread out. Australia is anybody's game. There's more black units over here in Australia, but black's got so many other opportunities on the map. I don't think black's going to fight me if I go for Australia. And I have a six over here as well. So I think I go for Australia. Got to plan my moves. I'm thinking three gets a card. Seven can kill the two later. So I'll declare Australia. Get the card over in the bottom left. I'll fortify the three down. That way I can get my eight and two to come towards Australia. That's what I'm thinking. Hopefully, I mean, there's no, there's no way that white goes for Australia, right? Because he's only got two there. He's got three, five, three which is 11 units, but they're not in the right position. This is going to get very big, and he's going to have a hard time getting in. I could just keep the seven parked right there. So I don't think white's going to go for Australia. If I was white, I would consider something like North America, because you've got two, four, three in the top left, and then another five, three that can break through Alaska. So that's what I would do if I was white. If I was black and I saw pink go for Australia, I would probably go for South America. Or you got a 3-5 in Europe if you wanted to go for something weird. And then, yeah, red's got all this Europe stuff. So hopefully red doesn't start buffing this up in the bottom. Okay, so yeah, white does have some action in North America. So hopefully the 5 goes to Kamchatka, leaving my 8 to go down and the 2 to come left. Perfect. Hey, Drew, what game is this? This game is Risk. It's a free-to-play board game by Hasbro. Have you been to Temple? I have been to Temple. Have you been to Temple? For those of you guys who have no idea what Temple is, there's a there's a nightclub in San Francisco called Temple. Um, I, when I lived in San Francisco, I went a few times. You're in your last year of college. Yo, nice. <laughs> okay, you're in a frat. Nice. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay, looks like Red's going for North America. How strange. I wasn't expecting that at all. All right. So just going to keep putting my stuff into Australia. Eight comes down. Two comes left. So yeah, it looks like no one's contesting me for Australia. I got 18 units over here. And then I can also get a free card from Madagascar attacking East Africa. So we got a really good setup. This is looking like a strong game for us. Two, four, seven units stand in the way from taking Australia. I should probably do it on the next turn. You're a software engineer for Rivian and you're a promoter for Temple. Wow, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> you're, you're actually promoting Temple right now. That's so funny, dude. Yeah. Like, why, why are you promoting it right now? <laughs> what are the odds that someone who's watching this lives in the Bay Area and wants to go to a club? <laughs> That's good. Okay, it looks like Black got South America. That's not unexpected. I said that I was going to take Australia on this turn. I still need to follow through with that. Let's do that. Nice. <laughs> you want me to come to Temple? I live a little bit further away from Temple these days, but okay. <laughs> Man, okay. All right, all right. Do you have Discord? Message me on Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> all right, let's party. <laughs> you get a free bottle every night, unlimited drinks. You get to get everyone in for free. 
That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I guess you got all the connections, huh? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. I remember now. Drew Clavin. Where have you been? <laughs> Why'd you ask what game this is? Wait a second. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use my turn in so I don't get randomly turned on. Turned on, that's not the right word I'm looking for. I just don't want someone attacking me randomly. Go get this out of here. <laughs> okay, you must have changed your username or something. I didn't recognize it. I'm, I'm so close to getting top 1000. I'm just gonna try and push for it. I hate getting randomly turned on. <laughs> you got me. I'm just looking at this board here. Looks like Black is making some moves towards Africa. Are they serious about taking it? Interesting. Uh, they got, they've got eight of their units in Africa. Pretty crazy. Wait, why is Red investing units in Africa? What a weird look. Yeah, I can't help but feel like Red had a bad read on this game. Like, Red started going for North America, but then kind of groups stuff up to the top here, comes back towards Europe. Kind of weird. And then putting units in Africa, I don't know, it's a weird look. But I guess Red is sort of stabilizing here. It looks like they're going to have a pretty good shot at Europe. White's going for North America, no surprise, with a turn in. I think the main problem that White's going to have is that they've got this black player with uh, the 9 in Venezuela kind of threatening. I'm pretty sure that 9 is defensive and not offensive. I don't think the 9 is going to attack the 6, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I would love these two to go to war with each other. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that 16 is... Because if he reinforces the 6... Then Black's, it's going to keep escalating. Black's going to have to like put more units on top of the 9. By putting it here on Western United States, if it does attack, he can retaliate. But it's more that this one's very defensive. See, if you want to play defensively as Black, you would have put it on Peru. But this, was a, this look is like an escalation on Venezuela. It's weird. All right. Looking at the troop counts, I am looking stellar with 50. Off to a strong start. That's one of the things about playing Australia is that you get a strong start. But then it doesn't scale as well because other people start getting these other continents. Uh, I'm going to take Kamchatka. Mm, let's see. I had to make a decision right there. Did I want to keep reinforcing Kamchatka and preventing the six from expanding westward? Or did I want to let him expand westward? It's kind of a tough call. Hopefully he doesn't start attacking my stuff, but it's hard to say. I want to see where this fortification goes. If he goes towards the six, it's annoying. Okay, that's a really neutral spot. That's perfect. Because this Northwest Territory, 16, can defend both Alaska and Greenland. It's a really great way to defend North America because you kind of narrow it down to two choke points instead of three. You have one choke point at the south and then one choke point at the north. You kind of just stack Northwest Territory. But everyone's kind of drawing their borders. Red's taking Europe. I'm just a little concerned that White's going to keep attacking my stuff in Asia. I don't know if I have a choice here though. Everyone else is going to have really good production except for me. Really annoying. I'm just wondering if I need to disrupt this or not. I can really pick on um, White. He can't do much about it. I can deal with the turn in. I'm going to block off Kamchaka here. Prevent this guy from expanding west. So that means White's not going to be able to take any cards. Let's see how they handle that. I'm hoping White attacks red or black. For cards. 14 on Mexico. Yes. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Remember I told you guys earlier that I wanted white and black to go to war with each other. 
He's going to buff that to a 21. 7 attacks the 4. Does he attack the 1 as well? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm at 60 units compared to... Oh man, do we have a decent lead for now? Although red's catching up quick. Let's see. No turn in again. I don't think he's going to want to suicide his 21 into my army. So I'm going to call his bluff here. And I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to fortify this more. I'm going to call his bluff. I think there's a 0% chance that he suicides on me and ends his game right now. I think 21 runs away scared. I think he might break the 10 and move the 21 over. That's what I that's what I think might happen. He's gonna break Venezuela. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Looking good. I'm gonna tell Red to attack white. See what he says. I mean it's so free. You should just poke in there. That would get so much pressure off of me too. See how good of an ally he is. Again, I still think there's a zero percent chance that he suicides on my Kamchaka with the twenty one. I, so I don't know why he's even putting that there. Well, he thinks, okay, if he moves it down, I'm going to attack. Probably that's true. There's an ch outside chance this 23 attacks Australia. It's not a game-ending move for me, though. Just annoying. Okay, Black is trying really hard to hold these two continents. That's not a good idea. White's got much better production than him, so he's going to just keep stacking the 9, and there's nothing the 10 can do to take it back. That's... My opinion. Maybe white will run out of steam. They've got to keep defending Alaska. If I was white, I would get out of Alaska and go for South America. Just put your entire army, 30 units, on South America. Give up North America. And white should go for South America instead. It's just too much effort for them to hold these three choke points. And they, they're half my size. Got a turn in coming. 28. Jeez. He's powerful. Okay, I told Red to attack White, he didn't, so he's trying to keep his alliance strong. Horse turn in here. I'm going to send another message to Red to attack White again. Again, 0% chance that White suicides on me. Yeah. This is, again, such a such a difficult move for Black here. There's no way Black is going to be able to hold South America, right? Okay, White's killable now. I could kill White. Okay, eight troops coming in. 24. So greedy from White to try and hold Alaska here. Now that 23 is going to crush the 16 and get into North America. Oh, he's not going for it? Come on, you should go for it. He's trying to, he's trying to form a truce with White. But White has nowhere to get cards, so White's going to want to get cards. Yeah, I think both black and white are being too greedy. They're too weak to try and hold that much territory. I'm gonna once again ask. Oh, he's is he gonna attack? Bla okay. Mm. Red's playing very conservatively. <sighs> Should I kill white right now? Can I win the game? It's kind of hard for me to win the game because all of red's units are in aggressive positions. If I kill black and white, I drop down to like. 40 units and I get six cards back which is worth another 20 something alternatively I can kill red no I can't easily kill red yeah I need something to happen between white and black in order for this to happen do I kill white here white and black suicide on each other that'd be good that would be good uh, I wonder if I poke black here and see what happens oh sorry if white and black suicide then it leaves red in a stronger position than me Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so white's not going to take cards. Okay. So white doesn't have a turn in, and he's not going to take cards. The longer this game goes, the better it is for red. Let's hope that black attacks white. Nice. That's really good for us. Oh, that's really good for us. 
Nice. Oh, beautiful. Now the 21 still can't get cards. That's great. I was worried that I, because I really debated attacking Africa on that last turn. And then I was like, if I do that, Black's not going to like me and he's going to turn his attention away from White. So we were betting on Black to attack White. It worked out. Red should break Africa. I don't know what Red's thinking right now. I think Red's thinking of just holding on as long as possible. I mean, he did. He is taking potentially a lead here by doing that. Oh, he broke Africa. He, he took your recommendation. Wow. Wow. Okay, if I kill white and take their cards, can I beat red? 86 minus 28 goes down to 60. And then I get the three cards back. I feel like I can kill white and win the game here. I can also, can I call, can I kill red and win the, no, there's 21's blocking me. If the 21 moves over somewhere else, uh, I debate whether or not I kill white here. Probably kill white anyways. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I win the game right here. Let's just win. I wish my 18 was in a better position for this. All right, let's see what happens. I feel like I should win this, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, he's only at 42. And I have five cards. He's got to use that 19 to take Asia, maybe Australia. It's close. Okay, I think he misplayed this. He put too many units in Australia. After you attack Indonesia, I think you need to put like a 7 or a 6. Eighteen can go here and then break left and then come up to the right. I think we're good. Okay, Greenland, nice. Okay, there's seven units, so I'm gonna put like, I don't know, 13 to kill this off. Probably too many. It's okay.
Uh, yeah, I probably could have killed that stuff up there. It's fine. Looking pretty good for your boy. Nice. You broke Europe, but we keep North America. There's four territories, so I probably need like nine units. Oh, but I have to split it a little bit, so I'll go 12. too many it's okay let's go nice let's go good stuff red was a master yeah that was really that was really good had a good australia start and then red got aggressive and uh we had the right amount of units to win. Sick. 11.45. Okay, we're close.